Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. We are live at League City Elementary this morning, taking a look inside one of the classrooms, see what's going on, what they're learning. We're inside Miss Gonzalez's second grade ELA class today to get a little bit of an inside look into how you guys are learning, what you guys are learning. So we've got Miss Gonzalez here. Tell us, what are you learning about right now this time of year? Right now for our reading mini lesson, we are learning about central idea and supporting evidence. Okay, and you guys are getting been getting ready. It's so quiet. I'm so excited to show the classroom and show a little bit about what you're learning. Um, what's your favorite part about teaching ELA here? I love watching the students' light bulbs go off when they're making those connections, and they just they they love reading. They gain that love for reading, and they want to read all the time. Yeah, and so um, Miss Zan Wood, the principal, was telling me this is your fourth year here, yes. um, and so you guys work together. Um, how do you decide what your lesson plan is going to be like to 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 help with the kids? We look, we plan as a team, and we look at our progressions. We look at the Ts. What are the essential standards? And we go from there. Now, your kids have been so quiet and so good for the last 10 minutes that we've been here. Are they always this great? Yes, they're a great group of kids. We have high expectations, and they like to have fun, and good. they're respectful. Well, we're excited to see a little bit of a lesson plan. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it to you, and you go ahead and get started. We're going to stand back and watch. All right, thank you okay. so much. All right, good morning, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to start with our reading mini lesson. So we're going to start with our connection. So I want you to think and follow along with Ms. Gonzalez as I read this paragraph about my niece, Adriana. Adriana wakes up early for softball practice. She goes to pitching lessons weekly. She practices with her team three times a week. Adriana loves softball. I want you to think about what the central idea of this paragraph is about. Now I want you to turn, and Ms. Gonzalez is going to say teach, and then you may talk to your partner, and you can use the sentence stem. The central idea of the paragraph is, ready, teach. Okay, so you think that's what it's like? What do y'all think the central idea is? We think the central idea is that Adriana uh, loves, like, does softball. Does softball, okay. Awesome, thank you. We're getting ready to share. Class, class. Yes, yes. Thank your partners. Thank you. And seek Miss Gonzalez. All right. Who would like to share what you and your partner talked about? What do you think the central idea is of our paragraph? Michael. The central idea is that Adriana loves softball. Okay. So Michael thinks the central idea is that Adriana loves softball. I see a few people agree. Does anybody think differently? Charlotte. Okay, now I want you to think about that. We're going to come back to this, okay? Let's start with our objectives. Ready? Mirror in words. Mirror in words. Content objective. Content objective. What are we learning today? What are we learning today? I can, I can identify, identify the central idea, the central idea and, supporting and supporting evidence of an informational text. Of an informational text. Language objective. How are we learning this? How are we learning this? I will read, I will read an, informational an informational text and identify, and identify supporting, supporting evidence, evidence for, the for the central idea. Y'all are ready. Now, I want you to think about, in just a minute, look in this first box. Think about what does central idea mean? In general, what does central idea mean? And you can use this sentence stem as you're working with your partner. The central idea means, okay, ready, teach. Okay. Central idea means what the text is mostly about. Okay. Oh, listen to you. Listen to me. The central idea is what the text is mostly about. Christopher, what do you think? The central idea is what the text is mostly about. 
Class, class. Yes, yes. Thank your partner. Thank you. And I think we can answer this together. Let's read our sense step. The, the central, central idea, idea means what the text is mostly about. Whoa, look at y'all. So now we're going to talk about the supporting evidence because that can be a little bit challenging. Supporting evidence is the details that support or prove the central idea. So I heard lots of different central ideas about Adriana and her softball. So the central idea of the softball story is Adriana is a hard-working softball player. So let's look at some supporting evidence. We're going to talk about supporting evidence. We want to remember supporting evidence are facts or examples that tells more about the central idea. Supporting evidence helps prove the central idea, and the supporting evidence gives specific sentences that give information about the central idea. Do y'all remember when we read this text? Yeah. What is it called? Elephant tusk. It's a heading. Elephant tusk. The central idea of elephant tusk was what? What elephants, what elephants use their tusk for? And then we talked about some supporting evidence, right? Something that proved what elephants use their tusk for. So what did we say at first? An elephant uses tusk to eat tree bark. An elephant uses tusk to eat tree bark. And then the next thing we found was he also uses tusk to what? Dig a hole. Dig a hole. So let's come back here to our paragraph. Central idea is Adriana is a hardworking softball player. So I'm going to read this, and you can join me if you'd like to read it with me also. And we, we're going to be looking for some supporting evidence, some proof that Adriana is a hardworking softball player. And when we see that, you can raise your hand or you can show me some thumbs up. Capish? Capash. Okay. So we're looking for some supporting evidence that proves Adriana is a hardworking softball player. Okay, so if you hear it, thumbs up or raise your hand. Adriana wakes up early for softball practice. Oh, I see some hands. Is that proof? Does that let us know that she's a hardworking softball yes. player? Yes, yeah, she's getting up so early. Okay, let's read the next one. She goes to pitching lessons weekly. Does that prove that Adriana's hardworking? Yes. She's going every week. Yes. So let's go ahead and underline that one. Next sentence, ready? She practices with her team three times a week. week. Okay, I see hands up. Is that showing that she's a hardworking softball player? Yes. It is, right? Because she's going to her practice whenever they have practice. Okay, let's look at the next one. Adriana loves softball. <clears throat> thumbs down. Ah, can you love softball yes. and it still be hard working? Yes. You can love softball, but that doesn't mean you're a hard working softball player, right? Ms. Gonzalez loves basketball, but I'm not a hard working basketball player. Okay, awesome job. Way to work hard. My thing's using those spare. I'm going to send you some shine. So now what you can see is the template that we've been using for central idea. So what I did was I transferred our central idea to central idea. Adriana is a hardworking softball player, and I added our supporting evidence. Read it with me. Ready? She you wakes wake up early for, for softball, softball practice. practice. She, she goes to pitching, pitching lessons weekly. weekly. She, she practices, practices with her team three times a week. Does all of this supporting evidence <laughs> prove that she's a hardworking softball player? Yes. 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 Look at you. Okay. So now it's going to be time for your group work. So make sure you're seeking Miss Gonzalez. You're going to read a section out of Big Bites, and the section you're reading today is called Crocodile, Crocodile Teeth. Crocodile Teeth. And the central idea, I'm going to give you that because you're going to look for the supporting evidence. So the central idea, what the text is mostly about, is the central idea is how a crocodile uses her teeth. teeth. So now you have to show fine proof. You're going to read this section and find proof to show how a crocodile uses her teeth. And you're gonna work with your team. Capiche? So go ahead and get out your clipboards or dry erase markers. And make sure you have a nice sharpened pencil. Okay, and when you get your paper and you have your pencil and clipboard or dry erase marker, you may stand behind your desk. I mean, not dry erase marker, I'm sorry, your pencil. So you need your dry erase board or clipboard, your pencil, and when you have your paper and your tools, stand behind your desk. So show me you are ready. 
Okay, and if you forgot your group, just let Ms. Gonzalez know and I can help you. Okay, so go ahead and one, stand. Oh. If you're not standing already, two. Okay, now remember, you're going to work as a team. Think of those expectations, Mustang. Be a team player. Live out our core values. And three, please walk to your group. group over here with Layla. Go ahead with Layla. Bring it. And once you get to your group, you should have a book next to you. And go ahead and start reading your book. And look, read the central idea. Go ahead, sweetie. You got it. Read your central idea and look for some supporting evidence and work as a team to find that supporting evidence. You can go ahead. There's your card. You can get Samantha and just put it right in the middle. Hey, Miss Gonzalez is going to be coming around. Okay, so let's see. Find the section, crocodile teeth. Okay, go ahead. Miss Kiki, that's okay. Go ahead. You can read it. That's fine. Okay, go ahead. Make sure Olivia can see. Do you have your book? Are you getting your name on it? Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Gabby. Can you start reading this? So, okay, put your name and date, and you can start reading as a group. Excellent. We're ready? So. Did y'all find some supporting evidence? Uh, we found one. one. Y'all found one? What was it? Uh, a crocodile uses her teeth to eat birds and, birds and fish. Is that one or two? Why do you think it's two? Because it's just birds and fish. Ah, birds and fish. So you can write that, right? Yeah. yeah. You can put eat birds. You're right. Good. So you're right. Eat to eat birds. You can write eat birds and eat fish. Okay. So how many, tell me how much evidence is that? One or two? It's one because it's one cell. Okay. But let's think of a thought. So a crocodile used her teeth to eat birds and fish. What do you think? It eats two birds and fish. So it eats two things. So you can't do one at two. You're right. Put one for one and one for two. Yeah. It's bird and fish. Okay, so what do y'all think? Does that support our central idea? Um, Is that how a crocodile uses her teeth? Okay, yes. so go ahead and make sure you write it down. Okay. Okay. You can put it in the middle. Right there. there you go. <laughs> How are we doing over here with our supporting evidence? Did you find some? What did you say? Turn it around so we can see. So what is the central idea, Charlotte? No, the central idea. Okay, so does that support your central idea? How a crocodile uses her teeth? Okay. Okay, you have the birds. Are y'all finding some supporting evidence? Uh -huh. What is some of the supporting evidence that you've found so far? A, able to crocodile, a crocodile who uses her teeth to eat birds. They use their teeth to eat birds. To eat birds. Okay, that was one. And what was they another one? They use their teeth to carry their to babies. To eat fish? Okay, to carry their babies. And then, see anything else? Go ahead and look. See if you see. You see something? Okay, find your evidence. Can you tell me about some supporting evidence you found to show that crocodile? crocodile uses her teeth to eat birds and fish. Oh, so does that show proof of how a crocodile uses her teeth? Yes. It does. Okay. And did you find it in the text? Mm -hmm. Where's it at? Right there. Okay. Get y'all working hard. Teamwork. Okay. Where's Olivia? It's okay. 
You can walk through the tea. In the, in the tea, in the tea, in the back. Okay, the yep, it's okay, she's working, she's got it. So what did you have, what is the first piece of evidence that you found? I don't know why there's sauce in okay. there. Oh, okay, so. Oh. Sus and Abby were their rights for some reason. It happens, it's okay. I have no idea why. That happens sometimes. You got it, Lydia? Mm -hmm. okay. You've got it, go ahead. Oh, uh, the T-A-T. Yeah, yeah. You said the, yeah, T-A-T, you're right, the crocodile. I'm talking right about T-A-T. And then you have crocodile right there. Mm -hmm. See it? There you go. What do you use the text? Okay, so it eats fish. Okay, and what else does the crocodile do? Uh, it's like All right. She carry babies. Okay, uses her mouth to carry babies. There you go. That's another piece of evidence. Okay. okay, how are we doing with our evidence? Did you find lots of supporting evidence? Mm -hmm. What do you have, Layla? It's fish, grab baby, a lion, and it's mama sent now. Okay, and what's the next piece? It's birds. It's birds, okay. So let's see, and what is your central idea? Do you want to read your central idea? The central idea is? Okay, so you said she's a to eat fish, baby in the mouth, and it's birds. Okay, hey, Ava. Doing? How are we doing over here? Do we have some more about three more minutes? You have it? Those are spiders. So. You got it? You use this? Let's turn it a little bit this way too so Olivia can see some of it. There we go. This is her team. Mm -hmm. Her team. Ta ta ti ti ta. Okay, we have about three more minutes, three more minutes. So go ahead and finish your last thought. Okay, let's take our time. You want to read it again all together? Okay, go ahead and read it all together. And if you want, you can put your heading at the top too. Crocodile teeth, see where that line's at? You can put your heading there if you want so we know which one. Okay. Don't forget, you can put your heading at the top. Remember, put your heading at the top. Okay, let's see. The crocodile uses her teeth to eat. Good. Would you have uses teeth to eat what? Eat. Eat. It's a vowel team. E A, right? Eat. Is it a supporting evidence? Does it support that a crocodile uses her teeth? Let's see. No, does it? No. Okay, but that was a great question, right? And then you read it to check, and you said, no, that's not it. Uh, the baby gets Did y'all get everything finished? Yes, we're about to talk about it. You're going to talk about it, okay. This is scary. Why is that scary? Because we're good. Well, it does have a little bit of blood because he was eating it. Thank you. I see all eyes. I want you to find your stopping point. Find your stopping point and rise. Everybody rise. Miss Gonzalez is going to, oh, you know what? Let's sit back down. Sit back down. It's only Miss Gonzalez. Sit back down. We're going to, I'm going to pick a group color, and then I would like for someone to stand up and share some supporting evidence to the central idea. Capiche? Okay, so let's see whose team gets picked. Someone from the Scion group. All right, go ahead, Axel. Okay, so Axel, the central idea is how Crocodile uses her teeth. Can you tell us a piece of evidence from the text? Crocodile uses her teeth to eat birds and fish. Oh, do we agree? 
Do we agree? Do we disagree? Okay. So he said she uses, uses her teeth to eat birds and fish. Is that correct? Yes. That is a supporting evidence, right? It proves how a crocodile uses her teeth. Okay. I'm going to choose another group. Let's see who's ready. The yellow group. Yellow group. Okay. Go ahead, Michael. They would get a nice bite on its mama's mouth. Okay. So it gets a right in its mama's mouth. Is that, are we using the teeth for that or are they putting it in something else? What do y'all think? Put inside the mouth. So is it using, is it showing how crocodile uses her teeth? No, but way to check your work. But it does show that she's using it to ride in the mama's mouth, right? Do you have another one, Michael? Um, crocodiles use their teeth to eat birds and fish. Oh, to eat birds and fish, too. So do we have that one? Mm -hmm. We do. Okay, awesome. Let's give these two friends some shine. And then I'm going to choose one more group. The pink group. All right. All right, Brain, do you have any more supporting evidence? Um, crocodiles use their teeth to eat fish. Okay, we have eat fish. And what else do we have? Birds. Okay, we have that one. And the, the book says this, and she also uses them to carry her baby. Okay, and she uses them to carry her baby. So she uses them to carry her baby, and then it gives us some extra information and says that they get a nice ride in their mama's mouth, right? Right, right. So is that part of the supporting evidence or just some extra detail? With extra, de is extra, extra detail. detail. It's just some extra details. It's a fun little ride to ride in the mouth with the mom. Right, All right. So go ahead uh, and put your name. Make class, sure your name is on your paper. Ideas. We saw a lot of collaboration. The, I would like for one friend to go ideas. ahead and so pick we're up go the ahead cone and who our video. reader Thanks was. So much for watching. Oh, let's see. Bring the cones and put them right over here on our stools.